All right, so we're gonna go through a band stretching warm up. So the way this video is gonna go, kind of the first portion of the video will be me explaining um, each part of the stretch, and then the second half of the video will be me uh, going through the entire stretching with you in the amount of reps we're gonna do on each one. All right, so here are the exercises we're gonna go through to start with stretching. So band's gonna go around one foot, and we're gonna come right down onto our back. Other leg is out straight along the floor. Elbows are gonna start glued to the floor. And we're gonna start with just some hamstring presses. So we're gonna bring the knee in towards the chest. We're gonna push the band away. Knee in towards the chest, push the band away. Notice I'm keeping the bottom of my foot facing the ceiling as I come down. I'm not, not dropping the foot down. So we're trying to keep the bottom of that foot facing the ceiling the entire time, or at least straight up, even if your foot has to be down a little bit lower, that's fine, but the idea is to keep the foot in the same plane, we're not letting it drop down. So once we do the required amount of reps of these, we're gonna move on to the next one, which is gonna be the same thing, we're just increasing the tension. So I'm walking my hands up higher so that I get more of a pull on the band, locking that leg out at the top every time. Remember, the goal is to get the leg completely locked out at the top. So if that means you gotta bring the foot down a little bit just because your hamstrings aren't quite as flexible, that's totally fine. Just find wherever you need to be where you're getting a nice stretch, but you also are able to lock the knee out. From there, we're gonna keep the same tension, but we're gonna bring the foot out to the side, away from the body. And we're gonna continue those hamstring presses just out at an angle. From there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the band away, we're gonna loosen up the, the tension a little bit, and we're gonna bring that foot straight down towards the floor, bend the knee, bring it in, press it up towards the ceiling, let it fall again. The in, push up towards the ceiling, let it fall. Notice that when I bring that foot down to the side, I'm bringing it straight over, almost like I'm trying to draw an arc with my foot. I'm not letting the foot come back down so it comes closer to this foot. So straight to the side, not down, straight over. So you should really feel that stretch in the inside of the leg. From there, we're coming to a figure four. So we're working to stretch the outside of the hip on this. From here, you may have a little bit of a hard time seeing because of my arm, but I want you to reach up super high, so close to your hands, you can actually touch your foot with your fingers. This knee's at 90 degrees. So I don't want the heel down here, I don't want the heel up here, 90 degrees in that knee. And that knee, I should be able to draw a straight line from the knee right down to the hip. It's not out to the side, it's right here. Now the next part, I'm gonna push that way. So I'm pretending like my knee and my ankle are against a wall and I'm trying to push Outward. So you can see that when I do that, my knee and my ankle almost move in a straight line out at the same time. So what you're going to do is you're going to push and then relax. Push and then relax. Once you've done the required reps of that, we're going to come to some straightening across. So we're going to loosen up the, the grip on the handles a little bit. And we're going to straighten and go straight across the body. And we're coming right back to that 90 degree position. So notice my hands are still on the inside of the knee. I'm right at 90 degrees. I straighten across and I bring it right back. I'm not going up towards the ceiling. It's across the body and then straight back, still keeping tension in the band. Last one is just going to be a static hold just to work on lengthening out the hip flexors a little bit. Take that band, still going to be around the same foot. That the bands or well, it's band, excuse me, and the foot are gonna come behind you. Hands are coming up overhead. And we're pulling on that band to help stretch out the front of the leg to make that a little bit more, to get a little bit more out of the stretch, excuse me, we can reach that bottom leg out a little further or walk the hands down the band further so we get more of a stretch on the front of the leg. And we'll hold that for a certain amount of time. All right, so now let's go through it with a certain amount of reps. Pretty much how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do 10 of each one of those press variations or press and fall. And then the end, that hip flexor stretch, you're gonna hold for a minute on each side. So you're gonna do the whole thing with one leg and the whole thing with the other. So I'll go through one leg with you, and then if you wanna go through it again, 
just rewind it back to when I started. So we're starting off with the first one, elbows glued to the floor. I'm gonna go for 10, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Walk the hands up a little bit higher to increase the tension. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we're bringing those, that foot out to the side, keeping that same tension on the band, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and now with that leg lowering, so we're gonna loosen up the tension a little bit, straighten out the leg, down to the side, so that's one, knee in, press up and away, two, three, four, five, six, seven, One, we're coming into that figure four, so we're grabbing with both bands with that same hand, 90 degrees, pushing away with the knee all the way to the ankle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we're gonna grab one band in each hand. We're straightening across the body. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then after I finish that, I'm coming, bringing that band right behind me, holding for a minute. If you feel like you don't have a ton of a uh, stretch here, or should I say, uh, if you feel like you can kind of work your way up, you can start here for 30 seconds. And then once you hear about hit 30 seconds, walk the hands down a little bit to increase that stretch some more. And then once you've done that for 60 seconds, you do the same thing on the other side. So that's the warm up band stretching routine for the legs.